I'm going to do some random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. If you're new to Richi Mahjong, there are links in the video description below so that you can learn the fundamentals. Also download this quick reference. In here is the Yaku table and scoring. This game is relatively easy to learn, but it takes a lifetime to master. That's why I practice. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls. I have a hunch and indicator, east and south rounds. And we'll just use these to mark the random pulls. I'm going to roll these dice to determine which seat we're in. Those variables will just keep the exercise fresh. For the first one, we're going to be in north seat since I rolled an eight. We have a dragon for the door indicator. The progression for dragons is red, white, and green. So green dragon is Dora. We have a pair of two cracks, a pair of two dots. We have four other dots, so six total. We have four bams, a single honor. It is east round and we are in north seat. Green dragon is Dora. For this first random pull, if these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If this were my hand, I would play Tan Yao and maybe Richi, depending on what happens, but Tan Yao for sure. Tan Yao is when all your blocks are simples, two through eight. We have no terminals, which are ones and nines, and we can just discard that. Here we have a pair, pair. These are both potential pones, three of a kind. Then we have all potential cheese. Side weight, side weight, side weight, closed weight. So I think what I might do is play simples or tan yao for sure. Then see about keeping concealed to declare Richie, maybe even pinfu since we have three side weights. For pinfu, you have to have a side weight, meaning you're ready to win the hand with a block that has two consecutive numbers and one of two tiles can complete it on either side. That's a side weight. And then you need a valueless pair and we have pairs of twos. So if we were to play Pinfu, which is all cheese, we would have to probably use this in a chi. Maybe what we could do is use this as a pair, chi here or potentially chi here We've got lots of chi potential in here, and this would allow us to play Tan Yao, Pin Fu, and Richi. Maybe use this as the side weight, because here, if we split the two, we have a closed weight, and a closed weight, and a closed weight there. But we do have a pair. I think I would start by discarding here. See what we draw. But there's some potential for Pin Fu here, or we could do all simples, also called Tan Yao, and Richie, those two. Just do it concealed. And you still have two Yaku, a Han each. South round, pull two. We're going to be in seat three, since I rolled a seven. So we're in west seat, south round.
we have a red dragon for the Dora indicator. Red, white, green is the progression. So white dragon is Dora, which we have none. So here though, we have one, two, three, four pair. Look at that. Five dots five BAMs, three single honors. If this were your starting hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If this were my hand, I would go for toy toy. That's all three of a kind. And all simples, also called Tanyao, numbers two through eight. I would discard these first. We could pwn maybe all these pairs and be ready on a pair. Pwn, 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 pwn. Since these are all ready to pwn, maybe discard the east for east first because it's south round this won't bring us any value because we're in west seat if we were to pair up here we could get another yaku for our seat let's see no not our seat the wind of the round right here south we're in west seat and then any pone of green of a dragon this is a green dragon we would get a han for that so maybe discard the east and the nine bam first if we pair up one of these before we get down to these tiles then i would leverage those because they could bring score and let one of these be the pair otherwise if we pwn 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 and these are still singles i would discard them and try to pair up here maybe even as our weight a pair weight All pwn, all simples, also called Tanyao and Toy Toy. That's how I would play it. Back to East Round. Only two rounds in Ricci. I rolled a four, so we're going to be in North Seat. Three BAM is Dora, which we do not have any. We have three dots, three BAMs, six cracks, and a single honor. There's a pair. So if this were your starting hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If this were my hand, three BAM is Dora. We do have a four and a one. If we get the right tiles, we might be able to chi with Dora. I think I would discard the South and play Pinfu. We're in East seat and North is, actually it's East round and we are in North seat. So, this south has no value, but the number tiles are more flexible. So I would discard that in hopes of getting a number tile that can help me get cheese because I would focus on Pinfu, all cheese. Pinfu and maybe Ricci. Here we have a potential chi. These are isolated. And then here we have potential cheese. One there and one here. And here even is a side weight. Now in here, we do have a pair. So we would have one, two, three blocks. If we use this as a potential chi, we have one, 
two, three blocks either way. So obviously we have work to do. The other thing that I was thinking, there are actually two other things that I was thinking about. Keeping this because it has potential use with Dora, but so does the one with a one, two, three chi, which made me think also of outside hand called Chanta. And with Chanta, you have a one or a nine in every block, and you can use honors as well in a block. There's another Yaku called Junchan, which is terminals in all. We would have to sacrifice the fives and the fours. But if we were to play, let's say Chanta or Junchan, we would have four discards. We do have isolated tiles right here, here, and of course, that's a single honor. So even if we were to play Junchan or Chanta, we only have two blocks. So we've got to start somewhere. I think what I would do is maybe discard the South. Focus on Pinfu and Ricci. If it works out for Junshan, terminals in all, sacrifice the fives and the fours. The potential is there. And we could leverage that pair. So I think Junshan would be plan B. It is a Yaku with two Han. Junshan and Ricci, let's say, would be three Han. Pinfu and Ricci would be two. But we do have a pair that we could use. So I'd say it's between those. I would probably discard the South, then the two for Pinfu. If I were playing Junshan, I would keep the two and probably discard these four. But I think that's plan B. I'd rather use the pair. Sometimes getting that pair is one of the hardest parts of the hand. So Pinfu, Ricci, plan A, Junchan, Ricci, or Junchan alone, plan B. Last one, south round. This time we're going to be in west seat. Two dot is Dora. No Dora in here. We have two dots, three bams, four cracks, including a pair, single honors. If this were your hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If this were my hand, I would play Chanta, outside hand. Discard the fours. These are isolated, but here we have a potential chi and a potential pawn. One, two, three, nines, single honors. We'd have to pair up, of course, and pawn. If we drew well with cracks, maybe we could even play a half flush. Honitsu is what that's called. But the eight and the one, these could all be used in edge chows. One, two, three, and seven, eight, nine. That's why I would keep those and discard the fours. You can't use four, five, six when you play outside hand. Those are in the middle of the sequence. So those would go away. And one, two, three could be used with outside hand in a one, two, three chow. And that, that's Dora two dot if we were to get it. But I think I would focus on 
outside hand, also called chanta, or maybe even cracks and honors, if they come in and discard these too, maybe as a plan B. Because if we draw chi tiles or even a pair, that could help us with outside hand. If you're new to Richie Mahjong and you have a set of tiles at home, try random pulls. It's a great way to study the Yaku. Make sure that you download this quick reference. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. You won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Richie Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.